Hi, this is Beth, also known as Be Mask Maker, and this is just a quick tutorial to show how I use um, Draw from Open Office to enlarge a photo to uh, help with creating an armature for paper mache sculpture. So, um, from within any Open Office program, you can create a new document in any of them. I want to create a new drawing that opens the Draw program. Excellent and so um, from here what I want to do is I want to insert my picture so picture from file I'm just gonna go and in my things I'm gonna choose um, the Molly sitting PNG okay so um, this is a portrait uh, photo and this is a or it's a portrait document and it's a landscape photo so I'm just gonna format the page change that to landscape and say okay and actually this is um, by default I'm gonna go back to format page by default this is a letter size page um, I think for width I'd like Molly to be 14 inches so I'm gonna make this page 15 inches and the eight and a half is probably fine. That'll mean when it prints, it prints on two pages. Then I'm good with that. If I wanted it taller, I could change this value as well. I hit OK. And that gives me a larger page. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to hit my Shift key and come over here and drag this. By hitting Shift, I can't um, screw with the ratios here. It's always going to enlarge in the proper ratio. OK. And now um, that's approximately what I want. Since I want it to be um, fairly exact from her nose to her tail is 14 inches. What I'm going to do here is drag a guideline in so that I'm at the margin. And I'm going to drag a guideline here and I'm at the margin there. Um, and I'll drag a guideline to the margin over this over on the right side as well. But for now, I'm just going to drag the photo so that her uh, actually since I'm doing the outline I'm going to drag it so that the top of her head and her nose are right about at the guidelines the other thing I like about doing it with these is if I if the dragging isn't working if my mouse isn't working I can use the arrow keys directional arrows and move it just um, like a pixel at a time that's pretty close I feel pretty good about that so um, now over on the right, I'm just going to drag this over here and give myself another guideline here. And let's enlarge her just a little bit so that the last guideline, uh, so that the last, this is actually at about 14 inches as well. Um, if I wanted it to be exactly 14 inches, I could. Um, so I do, let's actually say. Um, I'm never that exact, but I can drag that in a little bit more. Right, so one of the things I like about this is that I can set my guidelines at exactly where I want them to be. Um, okay, so this is, uh, we're just about done. Now what I want to do is I want to print it. Um, I am going to hit print, it comes up. Um, I'm going to select options. And what I want is I want to tile the pages, which means it's going to print multiple pages um, to just extend the thing across the multiple pages. So I'm going to say OK. And then I'm going to say OK here. And it's going to say, do you want to print fit page to print range? No, I want to print on multiple pages here. And then hit OK, and it's going to print out. That's how I do it. Um, this will work if you want to tile, you know, like a six by eight page thing, it'll still work. Hope it helped. Thanks. Okay, so this is the way the pages look when they come out of the printer. You can see that there is a white margin all around the edges. You're going to cut off one of the white margins. You can see they line up very nicely. Cut off the white margins on one side of the page um, so that you have something to tape. So basically, um, there's still a white margin under the left side of this, and the right side is on top. Um, then tape them together. I actually tape both front and back. 
um, put some glue stick on the back and then paste them to your cardboard and then cut them out. Um, this, uh, the top part is a leg that I've cut out of a, for a different project. Um, but uh, that's pretty much how it goes. Enjoy!